In case you couldn't tell, it's Pride Month. So if you're a queer or queer accepting person, you probably have an extra itch for some anime recommendations that feature same gender attraction and or couples because rainbows, rainbows are, everywhere. are everywhere. Now this past anime season has been noteworthy not only for the falling of the shield hero, but for being full of rom-coms. Although to those looking for something a little less hetero, these options may not be exactly what you're looking for. However, behind Kaguya-sama's sanctions, Komi being unable to say no, 2022 Jason Scorpina fic and Spy Family's not so subtle attempt to get the birth rate up, the past three months have been chock full of some of the most homoromantic anime I've seen since the alternate timeline where the 10 count anime has already released by now. So let's not waste any time and get into these wrecks. There's only so many days left in Pride. It's not like you can watch queer shit any other month of the year, right? That's clearly not allowed. <laughs> Firstly is an anime I guarantee you've never heard of, Battle Spirits Mirage. A short series with an even shorter number of people who've seen it, and an underrated exhibit of the complexities of societal oppression created in the name of selling a card game. The story of Battle Spirits Mirage is about the discrimination of the mob, everyday people who are ostracized because their blood is purple, so it also ironically could double as an AIDS metaphor, but I digress. Its main characters are childhood friends turned enemies in love due to their differing political ideologies of how to overcome their oppression, think card game MLK versus Mal Malcolm X, forcing them to only express their feelings for each other through Yu-Gi-Oh! instead of just talking them out. Cause men are still men, even if they're... You know, from obscure to iconic, everyone's dads are back for one night only. Yes, I'm talking the return of Tiger and Bunny, or should I say, Tiger and Boyfriend? Because this season not only were the bickering old couple back, but they set the trend because everyone's a couple now. And with such variety, black and white, optimist and pessimist, stupid and stupider, strong and weak, bold and shy, boomer and zoomer, rookie and veteran, feminine drodge, lolly and lolex, bland and flamboyant, order and chaos, Chaos, the people's favorite, and the voice of the people! Twins! Twins! Twins. With the most shocking of twists, including the bunny not just cheating on his beloved tiger, but cheating on him with his houseplants. How gay. And if one set of dads wasn't enough, look no further than your boy Komei. A heartfelt story of 96 Neko finding her footing in the club scene of Shibuya with the help of her dads, the club owner who I'm not even sure has a name, and the aforementioned your boy Komei, the reincarnation of Komei from ancient China. So technically this is Don Mei? Kicking things off for the sports anime section of the video, or should I say serving up, is the badminton boy sensation that for several weeks outranked Spy Family in spite of ANN's biased coverage, Love All Play. More like Love of all gay! Yeah. This anime centers on a badminton team striving for the Zenkok Seha or whatever. That's not important. What's important are the various romantic relationships between its players, more often than not, put together as doubles pairs. Whether it's the main boy and his big beloved dum dum starting strong with a confession, before expanding into a love triangle with a low blood sugar boy, and ultimately suffering through their first communication issues trope, all due to the fact that they can't figure out that one plus one equals two, or all the different senpai couples setting an experience example of how to work through your relationship. Carrying the mission of mentoring the next queer generation because you sure as hell can't find those resources at your school's library, am I right? But if you want more age-relatable options because you need someone to kin your mundane daily work life, look no further than the alternative bad man to an option, Riemann's Club. Set in the torrid wasteland of the corporate office, Riemann's Club gives the corporate queers, the queer prits, a chance to shine and further prove that there's not much of a difference meaningfully nor phonetically between doubles and couples. Battles with exes, former Flames reunited after an era of retirement. Lovers quarrels in the workplace. Onichan! Watch an annoying senpai in sales and his jaded, traumatized workplay life husband go to town on an endless amount of shuttle cocks as they go from bickering boyfriends to both asking themselves and each other aloud. How am I supposed to live without you? Now, what badminton is to the boys who like boys, golf is to the girls who like girls. I present to you Birdie Wing. Not only are the girls golfers gorgeous and gay, but you may have seen their story before in a different gender expression. I'm not saying Owie and Eve are Ash and AGPGAU, but I'm saying Owie and Eve are Ash and AGPGAU. One is an athlete visiting from Japan, the other is an orphan who comes from poverty in the mafia. One is black haired and Japanese, the other is blonde and Euro. Their names both start with an A and an E. Eve even says, ah so, in the same way Yuma Angstita always says, ah so. Do you believe in reincarnation? Well, do you believe in life after love? Say
same thing. thing. From the sports AU of the banana fish to the land AU of the harem dolphin, the adolescence of fanfare. Summed up by the mantra, the only back I ride is bear. This series replicates Free's trifecta of main love interest with angie foreign loving boy, kind supportive suffering boy, and cute community bicycle boy, you could call him a jockey for the cocky. <laughs> But this horseback riding anime also highlights the pressures the gays have to maintain unrealistic superficial body types, and how this pressure harms the same gender relationships they struggle to maintain in the first place. Deep shit. Now I'm not saying the P in sports is the same P from LMNO people, but the last sports series on this list is the greatest, greatest thing, thing airing, airing right, right now. now. The haves and the have nots of sports anime where they fondle each other's balls with their feet, Awashi. In the foreground, Awashi may be a story of a poor boy trying to go pro, but in the background, it's a harem centered around some studly sideburns who know how to swoon in every boy's game. If I didn't know that I liked boys growing up because I was one of those reductive idiots who think queerness is learned and not something were born with, then Awashi's cast alone would have influenced me to start chugging dick consensually the first chance I got. <laughs> chugga chugga, choo choo, all aboard the adaptation that puts the gay in game, Shenmue the animation. Follow a juicy fruit as he treks across Japan and Hong Kong to avenge his father and catch the eye of everyone with taste along the way. Boyfriends, girlfriends, anyone but that godforsaken classmate from the first part, please! please. Transitioning the cult following into the controversial, did you know Shikimori's not just a cutie? She's also a word that rhymes with duck but starts with a C because her beta boyfriend is cheating on her in plain sight with another man. I know what you're thinking. Really, Chris? NTR right in front of my breeder propaganda? Shikimori can emulate that yandere from Future Diary all she wants. Whether she likes it or not, she's the Claire Elliott of the anime retelling of Making Love. And always remember, love is love in all its consenting forms no matter how much it squicks the straights. You see, kimono, anthro, furry communities and fans are a wondrous queerful subsection of the LGBTQIA community. A community plentifully represented in the anime Dawn of the Witch. But it's not just Kudo in his scaly exterior that gets a chance to shine, it's also his LMNO panic for his very own Lance, Lance the, Dragon the Dragon Master. Master. Now listen, I can feel y'all glaring at me with immense suspicion from the comment section, squinty eye emojis galore. I can feel y'all asking Chris, are these stories actually queer? And to that I say, I don't know. Do you, despite allegedly being queer, think characters are only queer when they're explicitly stated to be? Do you not have a queer lens? Maybe you should check your heteronormativity, Gaby! Clear-cut representation of same-gender couples in attraction is, of course, lacking, but there's no reason implicit or headcanon isn't valid either. Remember, straight is only the default if you want it to be. Donate to the Human Rights Campaign to help them enact meaningful change for all the letters of the Scarlet acronym, link in the description, or donate to a bi boy on on Patreon, like my newest patrons, Kanisha the Creator, Noe Lavery, and Chanel Monica Kearns. My last video for Pride will be up next week where I'll highlight DBZ's queer icons, I think. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss them. Bye!